Installing guest additions. Let's make sure are we pointing at the... Yeah, we are. And we start up the machine and straight away I find because it's a new install I haven't set it to auto boot yet so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Take that, apply, put your password in twice. Okay, okay, and it should auto boot next time. Now we go up to devices, and that normally starts it running, but it's not. I think we'll find it's mounted the DVD image, so if we go in there, and that's the wrong place to go, it won't work. I'm running a 64-bit system, so i got to do the next one up. Not that one, next one, that's it. The bottom one is for 32-bit systems, XP, whatever. You only have to install guest editions once when you put your first operating system into VirtualBox, shall we say. Because it actually installs this guest driver into the host operating system rather than the virtual machine. And you get much better video and that sort of thing when you install it. I want to shut it down, so... Finished with that. What I've got to do next is it's pointing at the guest editions I saw DVD so I got to point it back at the real DVD that's it and the USB is working okay so we start it up and this time it should boot up without asking me for a password
And the next DVD I make, or video I make, will be about shrinking this Windows 7, which takes up the whole drive, to make a little bit of room to put Linux on. And show folks how to use a partition manager in a safe environment without messing up their hard drives. It might have been empty, but it was recognised because it allowed me to uninstall it. And that's about it. Until we make another one. So I will take my leave of you. Thank you for being patient with an old, doddery old git. Goodbye.